Okay. And your friend goes, I don't like your wife. Ooh. How, how are you going to do that? Okay. You're married. Okay. Right now. Well, I suppose I you, would have you. To, you would have to choose your friend. Uh, you probably have to choose your friends wisely. That's why. You know? it, or it, or it, a day by, or it, it doesn't have to be a day with your friends. It could be a day where you do something that you like, yeah. probably alone or, you know, or, or your part, wife's part around of the day. Yeah. 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 But what I'm saying is that you're bad. You're in some ways you need time alone, but it's how you spend that time you know do you have good friends that will yes. encourage what your, you, what your marriage your yeah. but in an abusive situation though no, but in, your yeah. significant other is trying yeah. to isolate you yeah. from those so but yeah friends. and so i was trying to focus on that abusive situation but in there you know you get sometimes where a woman go where a woman or even guy where the guy goes hey i'm done i know you know and the uh, you know i don't want to do like have sex or whatever you know i just want you know there's time you need to say time you know and, but yeah, sometimes a person keeps pushing that issue or they push the issue, hey, you need to be with me all the time. No, you don't. I mean, it doesn't, you know. And now when you're married, you live with each other all the time. So you, you don't need to be together all the time. But you do need to be careful because there are people willing to separate you. And you, there are weird weirdos. There are weird guys out there who are willing to even challenge that and say, well, I love you. I would be the best. And then you need to find that time even if some women need to find that uh, within themselves saying well he may try to be the prince in shiny armor but he really truly is not you know and, and sometimes there's you know that unfaithfulness so you got to be careful you choose your friends that will help you in your marriage not break it apart so yes you can hang out with your friends but if a friend comes up to you and now it depends on let's say your wife hurt that person you know maybe she really she shouldn't have done it but she just went out and just blamed him for something maybe she had a bad day maybe you can explain hey yeah, but, they, but if it comes to that point where it's like, you know, I don't like your wife, you should, you know, just get, you know, then you probably need to say, think about, hey, you know, either I need to separate with this self or a person or explain why. Well, wouldn't it help, though, before you get married to introduce your significant other to your friends first and before you get married? Because then you're not going to probably more likely run into that situation where your friends is going to say, I hate your wife or I hate your husband. Yeah. However, you should also avoid another situation I found myself in with my ex, which is if you are trying to spend time with your male friends, if you're a guy, female friends, if you're a girl, and your boyfriend and or girlfriend is trying to hit on one of your friends in front of you. My ex hit on one of my really good girlfriends, who I kind of consider to be a sister to me, saying it was God's will that the two of them date. And he said this in front of me. And my friend, thank goodness, had enough sense to say, uh, no, it's not God's will that you and I are together. But you have to kind of also watch out that your friends are trying to hit on your, 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 your significant other is trying to hit on your friends because yep. mm -hmm. there's always that situation too they may not be happy in what they've got and they may try to hit on mm -hmm. somebody else within and yeah. a rule of thumb to remember is friends don't let friends date the other person's ex well it, it, it that could be a rule but also <laughs> it also depends on they may not be compatible for each other right and then the other person may be compatible so mm -hmm. and so you got to find a way to work around well, that right. too but the thing is you shouldn't let yeah somebody ruin a friendship yeah no 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 like in yeah. me and my ex's situation i would have to sneak away with my friend mm -hmm. to go on a girl's Night. date yeah wow. on a friday afternoon no. once a quarter her and i would go to sherry's and have sweet rolls and coffee and yeah. just spend the two time for the two of us together yeah. every time i'd get back he'd always be like well where were you I was with my friend having girls time. Well, why didn't you invite me? What part of girls time do you not understand? Well, that's the time if when we, that's the time by yourself you can have yeah, extra time with if people you're, other than you If know. your boyfriend is abusive yeah. and is trying to isolate you, yeah. they don't want you doing stuff with your friends. And if you have to go behind their back, they're going to get upset with you. Oh yeah, oh, of course. And and the, 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 that's where you know, and that's uh, that's also the point where you choose your relationship. And sometimes you don't just dive into one. You gotta be careful. You know that's the point. You know, be, be sure like you know when you get into a relationship, you don't start off fast. Some people couples are all of a sudden are kissing. And I'm like, 
guys, you've been only going out for like three days. Don't do that. You know, take the time to know that Test person. Test the ice before you, you walk, walk on done it. it. Yes. <laughs> uh, we it might know be we... quick sand or it might be too thin ice. I think that you may have had that experience before. No. <laughs> I don't know. I may, I may have. We'll maybe discuss it some other time. <laughs> yeah. No, but yeah, we, you know, but, and you don't, you want to be careful to use the word test too, because it's, it's like, to, yeah. it's like testing every new model that comes out. A woman is not a cop. I think test is a bad <laughs> word to use, but you know, you want to, you want to, you want to kind of tread slowly. slowly. Yes. But in a relationship yeah. though, a healthy relationship and according to Ephesians 5, and I'm going to use 522 out of Ephesians that says, wives submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. Well, in this, the same thing, you're not saying, okay, you're my master, I'm going to let you walk all over me. Yeah. But you're saying, you know, I respect you, I want your opinion, I want you to be kind of like, I value what you have to mm -hmm. say, so if somehow we're in a degree, disagreement and unless we can come up with a compromise, sometimes mm -hmm. it means you saying, all right, I'll take your view even though it may not be what's right mm -hmm. at the time. Mm -hmm. You're still submitting your will to them, yeah. meaning you're stating your fat, your opinion, but you're letting their opinion probably counteract yeah. yours. And that's kind of how we need to be with the Lord. Yes. But in it's the same for a dating relationship. Your boyfriend and you may a boyfriend and girlfriend may get into a huge argument and both sides may be right and they're fighting to see who's right and who's wrong. Yeah. But sometimes when push comes to shove, the girl just has to say, okay, you know, I love you. Let's stop where we are unless we can come up with a compromise and I'm going to go with your opinion. I may yeah. think you're crazy. I'm going to support whatever you want to do. Yeah. But this is what it's going to be, and sometimes the guy has to submit himself to his girlfriend too, yeah. if he sees that her or wife or wife, yeah. And if he sees that her viewpoint is right, mm -hmm. he sometimes needs to say, "Okay, honey, you know, maybe you're right, I'm wrong." Mm 